Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so uh, this is going to be a Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon and uh, Cancer Rising weekly tarot reading for June 10th to uh, June 16th, 2019 and uh, bear with me a second guys to shuffle the tarot cards and uh, we can jump straight away uh, into the spread. Alright, so the first card which represents <clears throat> Cancer's topic for the week, that is going to be uh, the Ace of Cups, followed by the second card which stands for the challenges that Cancer needs to overcome here, that is to be the Queen of Swords. Uh, afterwards, we do have the positive aspect of the week for Cancer, that is going to be the Page of Wands. And the final one, uh, which stands for the Guidance, that the cards give you cancer for the week that is going to be the moon card so once again uh, ace of cups is the topic followed by the queen of swords which is the challenge uh, the next one is going to be the ace the um page of wands excuse me as a uh, um, gen positive aspect of the week and the final one uh, is going to be the moon card which stands for the guidance Okay, it's a very interesting week that stands in front of you. Uh, first of all, uh, the grand thing about the week is that you are going to live out of dependency um, in regards to somebody. So you're not going to be dependent by someone. And that will happen due a, I do believe, and an unexpected message, a very positive message that you're going to receive. Uh, now, that is due to the page of, page of Wands in a positive position and the Ace of Cups on the first position, but let's go for the first position first, which is uh, the general topic. So, Ace of Cups points that, imp uh, not imp uh, how can I place it? Yeah, an impending change is to happen in the circumstances that you are finding yourself at, a change that will make the current goals and ideas rather completely irrelevant and as well is going to fill up your heart, should I say, with a deep contentment and the belief and the clamor that a, a wish of yours can become true. As a matter of fact, when this thing happens, you're going to be so joyful that nothing will look the same when you look it through the prism of this overflowing joy and it's going to simply transform your daily reality. And like I said, that most likely is gonna, is gonna come around as a, a message. That is because sometimes, as a very key word, the page of wands could represent a message. The accompanied card, that is the Ace of Pentacles. And my God, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, the formation, first of all, it is a, a passive uh, friend. Are we definitely talking for a long-term goal that allows you, um, well, we're talking for a, uh, how can I systemize it, and a rare opportunity to establish and further a, a long-term goal that until this very moment was rather either blocked, you were deprived from it, someone 
I do believe that this is the case here. Someone um, created not exactly obstacles, but kind of didn't allow you to do it in one or another way. And this is how you uh, break out of that dependency of this person. And now as you are alone, they, they, they doesn't have an influence upon you. You finally can establish this goal of yours or rather like start working toward it, which will create a, a harmonious flow into your relationships. Should we talk about relationship or is going to establish a, a start of a, a very, very successful business endeavor? So uh, this is the topic and it's quite exhilarating topic. It seems that things are to stir for you guys for the, a very positive uh, outcome or rather from a very positive side. So whatever business plan you do or plans you do have, um, whatever ideas as well you do have for your private circle and for your uh, romantic life, do not abandon them even if they uh, right now or seem rather, un uh, um, rather, you know, impossible to be executed because it seems that a, a big swift of the circumstances is coming around in this week june 10 to june 16th and like i said you will have that opportunity to further your goal uh, to establish you know this goal of yours and to further it excuse me to, uh, as a long-term prospect that will uh, make you very content and the goal itself is going to be a, a dream of yours. Uh, that leads us to the challenge, however, it is the Queen of Swords, the person that you are depending on. You are depending on this person because until this very moment, that person were capable to push your things through. So it's, uh, in another word, said they carried you through something. But now simply the fact is that you don't need them anymore because what they carried you through, it's no longer... Um, as a goal of yours, you you don't you no longer cling cling into it. There is something completely different as a prospect. If I have to give you an, an example, let's say you are single and that person carried you through that singularity. They were a faithful friend of yours um, or a faithful companion. You know, they were always there to listen to you and and kind of like we do have that good cooperation in between one another. But now. It's, See, with these new circumstances, let's say you have someone that you uh, can't date with, you know, and this person really makes you happy, so you devote more time into them, and you simply no longer need her, or need him, that is. And that will be the challenge to detach, to uh, leave that dependency. Because if we're talking about a new suitor that you're going to take, uh, that you're going to start dating with, for example, this Queen of Swords is not going to be happy uh, about it. I mean, yes, that Queen of Swords carried you through uh, that hard time, if I may express it that way. But in the same time, um, how do you say it? it it's very... It, she or he is very selfish. They want you for themselves. The accompanied card that is the Ten of Swords and the deliverance of the message that you don't need them anymore is going to be the challenge itself with the Ten of Swords. You got to be extremely hard. You got to be very harsh and you have to shoot straight into their face. I mean, simply don't try to toil uh, to uh, loiter it, you know, do not try to bypass the circumstances in any way, do not try to be milder, simply they would not, the, the more mild, mild, in a milder fashion you try to present your message that you don't need them anymore, the more excuses you give, you give to this person to make you feel guilty and to swipe around your decision that you don't need them anymore. So we definitely are talking about here cancers for out of dependency situation that um, in the grand scheme of things serves you a, a great benefits because like I said, this uh, person that you were dependent until this very moment, yes, they gave you a lot, but in the same time, they took everything. And this is no different, for example, if you are, let's say, 21 years old and you want to start living uh, by your own, you want to detach from your family, but your mother, it's making you feel guilty that's if you leave, you know, how they can live without you and uh, simply they want to babysit you for the rest of your life or for the rest of their lives, that is, but you can't allow that. And new place for rent, pretty affordable for you and pretty nice in a good location comes up as these unexpected circumstances. It's your dream coming true, you know, it's, it's what you needed. But you have to deliver, you have to divulge the, uh, the decision. 
and that will be the challenge. And make no mistake, that person, Queen of Swords, is going to make a stand for it. I mean, it's, it's not going to just let you walk away like nothing ever happened. So uh, that leads us to the next thing, which is the positive aspect of the week, and that is the Page of Swords. The first thing, the Page of Swords, it's the message, the positive message, like the uh, advert you saw for the place you were seeking, or this person you admire messages you on the um, uh, through Facebook, for example, through Skype, through WhatsApp, whatever they asks you out and so on and so forth. It is the positive message that is going to deliver you this uh, a rare opportunity to establish your long term goal. Additionally to that, the page here points that you will become more and more aware how strong you are without that person, because the page of swords, it is this inside that the page obtains that allows allows them to have a bigger and bigger self-confidence determining that actually they are much more stronger on their own as if they are into uh, in a cooperation with someone for the very reason that when they are uh, when they are on their own they are, they have freedom and freedom is everything for the page okay so you are in the grand scheme of things, you are fighting for your freedom and the circumstances that gives you your freedom are rising here in this week. I hope that you don't have the hesitance to take them. The accompanied card here that is to be the, the Seven of uh, Wands formation. It is a active supporters and the Seven of Wands only tells us that you are going to be very astute when it comes to scoping the right moment. So you are going to pray uh, this person, Queen of Swords, to, um, I don't know how to express it in English, guys, I'm sorry for my language here, but yeah, you're going to pray that person, uh, waiting for the right moment to deliver the message, the, the moment where they cannot simply say no, or the moment where they can put the least resistance as possible, like you are going to wait for them to become vulnerable to you, and it is when you are going to deliver your message. Uh, the seven of uh, wands here uh, represents exactly that, being ready for action and knowing that the right moment is going to come eventually or recognizing when the moment is right to uh, most efficiently, you know, deliver the message for detachment and for liberation. And the final card uh, here, which is the guidance, that is going to be the moon card. So uh, the moon card sits a little bit peculiar into this uh, into this reading. It's simply what points the moon card. Excuse me. It's simply what it says is that you should not um, allow yourself to be succumbed by the um, little of uh, by the little of the feeling of insecurity that you may have. Uh, will concern this uh, the, these new circumstances that impending change. Because everything new also raises a questions. Where is going to lead me? How long is going to uh, be in presence? You know, uh, how uh, well I'm going to feel at it and, uh, you know, toward what end um, I will or how I'm going to end up by doing that thing. All these questions will arise and you should not allow yourself, like I said, to be um, to be intimidated by uh, by these questions, because every beginning has its rough face, every beginning has its um, insecurity, a face of insecurity. But when the moon card is in a guidance position, it points that whatever happens throughout the week as newness or as a your circumstances, it is your path. Okay, so if you are asking yourself when this thing happened, if I take it, am I on the right path? The moon card here says yes. If you are asking yourself, is this mine to take? Is this something that I'm supposed to do? Or is this person I'm supposed to be with? The moon card as a guidance says, yes, it is. It definitely is. Uh, the accompanied card that is to be the sun, the formation. It is a, a passive enemies that we have with the sun card here. And uh, what it points is that Simply, the more you indulge yourself with these new circumstances, the more and more clearance you are to obtain that that is your path. Because the Sun and the Moon card, they are very contradictory. So, uh, the Moon card takes place first and now has the most um, 
exerted influence upon your situation but the more you move along the more the sun takes uh, takes over over the moon card and it sheds light it sheds clearance uh, c clarity excuse me it sheds as well a uh, a good type of relationships lack of conf uh, of confrontations and also sheds a um, how can I describe it um, energies of growth it gives you energies of growth and promises a natural unfoldment as well of your situation which could have been predicted as well with the ace of cups and the ace of pentacles simply these new circumstances which are offering you this impending change this new beginning guys are a circumstances uh, promising deprivation from problems in this field so if that is a about person you're gonna date with and uh, further down the road into your um, into your future you're to make a relationship with it means that this relationship will have no problems whatsoever at least for the mediocre uh, future so that being said um, cancers this was your uh, weekly tarot reading for uh, June 10th to June 16th 2019 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, I hope that we're going to uh, see each other around and until then, bye.